Okay, we're going to go ahead and get this meeting started. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight for the community design meeting for the Riverside, Oakhurst, and East Fort Worth Water and Sewer Improvement Project. My name is Sally Ellerson, and I'm stepping in for your project manager, who is Brenda Oropesa. I'm responsible for the capital project communications for the Fourth Water Department's capital project. Tony Shalola, our assistant water director, will be answering your questions tonight. So please hold those questions until we have finished this PowerPoint. If you can't wait and you can see the chat, it should be at the bottom right-hand side of your screen. You can type your questions in there as we go along um, so you won't forget them. We will field your um, chat questions first, and then we'll open the floor up to everyone else who has also joined. Um, now, let's get started. Okay, the agenda includes the introduction, the project overview, the project area, frequently asked questions, and what we are thinking about for the timeline. Your project team includes project manager Brenda Oropesa. Her phone number is 817-392-8271. You can also email her at brenda.oropesa at fortworthtexas.gov. Our engineering design consultant is Kimley Horn, and we have April Escamilla here to answer any questions for you as well. The project boundaries, um, the existing water and sanitary sewer mains will be replaced in an area bound by Mont, Mount Olivet Cemetery to the north, I-35W to the west, I-30 to the south, and Halton Road to the east. Some of the landmarks include the West Fork of the Trinity River, the Fort Worth branch of the Trinity Trails System, and the Trinity Railway Express. Why are we doing this capital improvement project? Well, Fort Worth, pri Fort Worth prioritizes replacing water and sewer lines that have a high risk of failure. Um, the risk of failure is determined based on available data, which includes the water main break history, leak history, um, a closed circuit TV inspection, the age of the line, the material the line is made of, uh, lead service lines, and cast iron lines. What's driving this project? This project will replace cast iron water lines on Goddard Street, Gilmore Street, Grace Avenue, Riverside Drive, Sylvania Avenue, Carnation Avenue, Blandon Street, Astor Avenue, Booker Street, Halton Road, and Wayne Street. We also have some sewer lines that date back to the 1940s up to the 1990s that are going to be replaced. Uh, the project scope of this Fort Worth Water Capital Improvement Project is a combination of residential, industrial, and commercial property. <clears throat> and there are four mapped areas. This is map one. We've got Goddard Street from North Beach Street to Halton Road, and we will be replacing water and sewer. Gilmore Street from Beach Street to Wayne Street will be replacing water and sewer. Wayne Street from East 1st Street to Goddard Street, we're replacing sewer. Halton Road from East 1st Street to Goddard Street, we're replacing sewer. And then Goddard Street from Arnold Court to Woodrow Drive, we will be doing paving. Okay, project area map number two, Grace Avenue from Belknap Street or US Highway 377 to Airport Freeway, we're replacing water and sewer and then Pittsburgh Place from Grace Avenue to the west, 155 feet, we're replacing sewer. Okay, map three, Riverside Drive from north of the Trinity River to Booker Street, we're replacing water and sewer. Booker Street from Riverside Drive to South Retta Street, we're replacing water. And we've got a segment west of Riverside Drive at Sylvania Avenue, that's one that's kind of looping out to the left. Okay, map four, we've got North Sylvania Avenue from Marigold Avenue to Goldenrod Avenue, and we're going to replace water. Carnation Avenue from North Sylvania Avenue to Blandon Street, we're replacing water and sewer. 
Blandon Street from Daisy Lane to Honeysuckle Avenue, we're replacing water and sewer. And Astor Avenue from Blandon Street, and then 409 linear feet east, we're replacing water. What part of Fort Worth does this impact? This is actually, I think this is our first Council District 11 project since we've done the redistricting. Uh, the construction will impact customers in the Riverside, East Forth, and Oakhurst areas. The neighborhood associations include the neighborhoods of East Fort Worth, Riverside Alliance, Vintage Riverside, Riverside Business Alliance, and Oakhurst. We get this question a lot. Will our water be turned off? Yes, it will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when the service is transferred from the existing water line to a temporary water line, and when the service is transferred from the temporary line to the new line. Those switchovers are, are done during the day. The, the contractor will knock on the door and let customers know when the water will be turned off. The transfer typically takes 30 minutes per house or business. How does the temporary water line impact my water bill? It ensures that you are not without water during construction. Uh, in the summer months, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above ground line. During the winter months, water must be continually flowing through the temporary line to keep the line from freezing. Customers should also keep their faucets dripping. The bill for your water usage while you are on the temporary line is based on the average of the previous month's usage. Uh, yes, we will need access to your property during construction. Uh, the construction will be in the streets and easements, but if Fort Worth needs access to your property, we will contact you. If an easement is needed for your property, a city land agent will be contacting you soon, since we are still in the design phase. Um, will sewer service be disrupted? Your sewer service will not be disrupted. Uh, the new sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line or easement line, and the sewer, the sewer cleanout provides crews easy access if a backup or a blockage occurs. Will I have access to my driveway during construction? Uh, the inspector and the contractor will work with businesses and residences who need driveway access during active construction hours. How do you coordinate traffic during construction? We always have a traffic control in place before the contractor starts work. Uh, will a trash truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling? If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will take your trash and recycling carts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick it up for you. Will there be lane closures during construction? Yes, um, there will be lane closures, but there will be signs posted to alert motorists. What are the hours for construction work? The hours for construction are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday. And if requested by the contractor, they can also work 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. on Saturday. The timeline, like I said, this is still in the design phase. We will have more information after the contractor is approved by the Fort Worth City Council. We host a pre-construction meeting with the contractor to set the start date for construction and to create a schedule for the streets that will be impacted. We will come back to you and host a community construction before the contractor breaks ground. Uh, where can you get more information and updates? Uh, go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and type in this project number 103415 in the search bar on the home page. The Riverside, Oakhurst, and East Fort Worth Water and Sewer Improvements page will pop up. If you want to make sure you don't miss any project page updates, scroll down to the bottom of the project page and click on subscribe to this page. Uh, the link to um, a PDF of this PowerPoint and a link to the YouTube video of this presentation will be posted to this project page. Uh, should be posted no later than three days. This is, a, this is a, when we get a lot of questions about how do I report an emergency or a non-emergency. 
Now, it's going to be the same number, but it's, it's a different way of getting into it. For emergencies, uh, water main breaks, sewer backups, this is open 24 hours a day. Dial 817-392-4477 and select option one. If it's not an emergency, um, those hours are 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Same phone number, 817-392-4477. The call center is closed on city holidays. You can download the MyFW app from the App Store or Google Play. Uh, through the app, you can report sewer overflows, leaks and water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, water theft, water violations, uh, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns. Again, your pro if you want to copy this down, your project team includes your project manager, Brenda Oropesa. Her phone number is 817-392-8271. Her email is brenda.oropeza at fortworthtexas.gov. And your engineering design consultant from Kimberly Horn is April Escamilla. Okay, let me check the chat and see if you guys have questions. Okay, if you have questions, we've got Tony Shalola here to answer them for you. Well, since it sounds like you're just in a very preliminary stage, realistically, how much time are we looking at before this is something that could actually start taking place? Most likely probably going to be next summer or thereafter. Okay. And I just want to take the time to say we had a water main break in front of my house and we've actually had several on Slovenia and the water department is amazing. Everybody I have ever dealt with with the water department is just so kind and helpful and, you know, working. They work like 26 hours straight to get this fixed and cleaned up. And so I just want to thank you for all that you do. Thank you for taking the time to do this meeting. Thank you so much for that. We have an amazing field operation crews. Those guys work tirelessly to make sure minimize uh, breaks and stuff and actually most of these projects are trying to eliminate cast iron mains, like Sally said. So we're all over town trying to identify, prioritize which ones are breaking often. And yes. then we're going down the lines, even the ones that don't break were installed in the 20s, 30s. So at some yes. point, we're going to replace every single one of them. Yes. And I'd like to tell I everybody. That would be to your benefit. I'd like to tell everybody it took 100 years to put those cast iron pipes in. It's probably going to take 100 years. To replace all of them, and I know I'm not going to be around. So, <laughs> I'll be working yeah, on this. Right. Probably me either. But anyway, <laughs> yes, I, I really do. I just appreciate you guys. Thank you for that. Does anybody need to see a slide again? I'm good. Okay. Uh, Catherine, do you have any questions? No, I'm just taking it all in. Um, but it is going to be a year. Is that what you told Jan before it starts? Just about, just it might be a little bit sooner, but about a year is a good time because uh, we've got to get utility clearance and a couple of other things we have to do, get the plans all final, but it might be nine months to a year. I would I'd, I'd probably say a year at this point in time. Okay. And I have, I put it in our newsletter a couple of times. And so I think people know about and like, it. Like Sally said, before we go to construction, we'll host another in-person public meeting with with residents just to go over the project and everybody will get a chance to meet the contractor, inspector, and other pertinent city staff. That sounds good. good. Yes, ma'am. Gary, do you have a question? Not at this moment. I was mostly just wanting to listen. Okay. And I apologize if I mispronounce this. Um, Sarai? Flores, do you have a question? No, no questions here. Okay. Okay, like I said, this is um, Monday. The PDF of the PowerPoint should be posted to the project page um, no later than Thursday. And let me 
So here's where you go to, to get to the uh, project page. And we also make a YouTube video out of this WebEx meeting. So there'll be a YouTube video on the project page as well. And just, if, again, if you don't want to miss anything, uh, just do subscribe to the page. It may just be a, a change in the projected end dates. Um, if we change anything about the scope, that'll also uh, appear on the project page. Tony, do we have anything else? Uh, no, if there are no other questions, that's, I don't have anything else. Okay, thank you, everybody. All right, thank, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Bye.